Hi, Jeff Cote here with Pacific Yacht Systems. What we're going to talk about next is batteries. Sounds pretty simple, but it can be confusing. Which battery is right for you as a boater? There's so much choice. You know, first thing you've got to recognize is that lead acid conventional batteries really come in three popular flavors. Flooded lead acid batteries, gel lead acid batteries, and AGM gel acid batteries. For the purpose of simplicity, we're not going to get into lithium batteries. We've done other videos on that, but today we're going to talk about lead acid batteries. There's really two families. There's lead acid flooded, and then there's actually seal valve regulated, which is gel or AGM. Two different, AGM stands for absorbed glass mat batteries. So when it's time to choose what type of battery you have, you've got to remember the different factors are maintenance free. You know, certain flooded lead acid batteries are maintenance free. Some have actually caps on the top, especially the deep cycle batteries that you actually have to maintain and top off the distilled water as you're cycling the batteries. And AGM batteries and gel batteries that actually are, have vented caps and that you cannot top off. And there is no distilled water in the battery. The electrolyte is enclosed in either a gel or an absorbed glass mat. So you've got all these different, so maintenance free is one variable. What's the other variable? Well, you're doing a trade-off. Because with a flooded lead acid battery, the number of cycles that you can get at 50% depth of discharge is about 300. And with an AGM or gel battery, you're looking at a conventional one, maybe 450, and a Firefly 3600. So what all that means is number of cycles affect the life of the battery. You know, a flooded lead acid battery, on average, and of course there's exceptions, you know, on both sides of the spectrum, a flooded lead acid battery, you're looking at about four to six years. Yes, I've seen owners that have, make them last eight, nine years, but I've also seen owners that have their lead acid batteries only last a year. So on average, you're looking at four to six years. The other advantage, and AGM, before I go forward, AGM, you're looking at about, you know, maybe five, seven, eight years. So they're gonna last longer. The other thing that's really useful and, and good about AGM batteries is that they have actually a deeper depth of cycle. And so generally, if you're looking at a ratio, you'll need three lead acid conventional batteries or only two AGM batteries. So it's a good way that if you've got limited space and you're as a boater, you're like, I want more capacity, but I can't add more batteries or weight on my boat, then what you would do and what I we would advise you to do is to get AGM batteries. The other thing too is that a AGM battery is seal valve regulating, meaning that it does not emit a lot of gassing when it's being charged. So depending on where the battery is located, we've had some boaters where these batteries are looking under a bed. They're going to be a lot more comfortable with an AGM battery located under their bed in a sailboat than they would with a conventional lead acid deep cycle battery. If you've got any questions and are wondering how do I make a decision for choosing the right battery for my boat, contact us at Pacific Yacht Systems. Thanks for watching.